go now. What are you on about? With Alicia. You haven't said anything, have you? Of course I haven't. Right, well then why am I getting death stares? I don't know. I wouldn't do that to you. Well, she's obviously upset about something, Andy. I haven't said anything, all right? I thought you were supposed to be going to this memorial thing. I don't think I can, but... Half the village thought it was me. Not you, though. Right, well, I could come with you to the service if you want. I didn't think it was your kind of thing. Well, it isn't, but I'll cope if, if it'll help. Yeah. Yeah, it would. I promised TJ I'd let a balloon go after the service. Nice choice. Well, it's the only one they had. He only asked me yesterday. Apparently Terry did it for Dawn. Well, we'll do it together. Nick will not come in. No, he's, he's got too much on with work and moving. Send his love, though. Mm. He's probably rearranging your furniture while you're not there. Still doesn't feel real, does it? I know. Amazing how quickly things can change. Well, I'm glad Bert is away. I'm not sure she's going to cope with this. Mm. Decent crowd, though. Bev would be pleased. She always liked being the centre of attention, didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> well, no twins? No, no, Cathy was really upset this morning. Set Heath off. So we decided it was best if they just went to school in the end. Thought Hazel was coming, though. Doesn't look like she is. No, Declan's in a meeting. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Jess. Okay, I'll say. Yeah, yeah, she's all right. Okay, good. Right? I feel like a right idea. Well done. Going on about how he shouldn't let me go and then he just throws it back in my face. Maybe he's realised you're only capable of fancying yourself. Why? Because he didn't jump into bed with you? Offer's still there if you want it. I'm not fussy. Listen, wait for all this baby stuff to blow over. Things might be different. Things are different every day in Andy's world. Be plucking the petals off daisies next. I love you, I love you not. You might make you a nice chain out of them and all. Yeah, it's about his level. No, I'm better off without him. Yet, if you should forget me for a while, and afterwards remember, do not grieve. For if the darkness and corruption leave a vestige of the thoughts that once I had, better by far you should forget and smile than that you remember and be sad. Thank you. When we lose someone we love, for a time, everything around us seems to stop. Things that were once easy become impossible. And we're left wondering if we'll ever be able to cope again. Somehow, gradually, we do. With the support of our friends, we learn to carry on. And while the loss never goes away, we learn to smile again, to appreciate the friends and family that we still have. Because the one thing that death can teach us is that life is the most precious gift we have. You look happy. Well, you might be at the church. Oh, I'd rather leave that to them as lost for. I've come to tell you about the adoption papers. I've got to sign them tomorrow. Yeah, I heard. This is the part where you're supposed to try and talk us out of it. Do you want me to? I wish they were more like you. Well, her anyway. Eric's been quite good the last few weeks. They're both better than me. No, they're not. 
you might have had a go, but at least you don't go on about it all the time, making us feel like some evil cow. You wouldn't know what evil is. Just because it's right doesn't mean it's easy. No. Don't you think that you should try telling her that? She won't take any notice. All this might have taught her to listen to you. You did them proud. Thank you. Right, come on. Let's go release this. It's for TJ, really. I think I'll leave the flowers till tomorrow. Mm. So. Do you mind if I take a few for Kathy and Heath? Well, of course, help yourself. Yeah. Thank you. You know, it wouldn't have been the same with someone else. It would be a big loss. Both of you. Join the God Squad. Oh, oh and you just needed a bit of moral support. Yeah. Thanks. No problem. Thanks for the spread, Charles. It's lovely. Brings it all back, this, though. If I hadn't wasted as much time before getting Bob's keys. Oh, well, you can't think like that, huh? True, though, innit? You did everything that you could. The only person to blame for that night was Henschel. I didn't think you were going to be there. Where else would I be? Hmm? <laughs> Ah, oh, it's just sick, do not it? Speak for yourself. Actually, we wanted to ask you a question. The answer's no. It's safer that way. Will you be my best man? What about Nikhil? I don't think he'll be rushing out for confetti. Of course he will. Thanks. <laughs> Katie, I will make sure I throw the bouquet in your direction, yeah? Yeah. Um, back in a sec. I've got a table. It's a touchy subject. Right. Well, thank God that's over with. Don't worry about losing folk. There'll still be some left over. I'm not sure that's quite what he meant. That's what it sounded like to me. Don't make a scene. I'll do what I want. We're losing Kyle tomorrow, in case you'd forgotten. I feel like I'm in bed with the end of it. Yeah. Welcome to my world. Yeah, you wish. It'll be a long time before there's any of that. So you're talking to us again, are you? Now that your geriatric friend's gone home. If you let us. Well, too late. I'll end up one of these, please. Make the double. You seen this? Our Paul's moving to Portugal and opening up a bar. Taking after his mum, eh? I'm not sure this is the best time. It never is, is it? I just want her to listen. Yeah, I know. And she will. Just let her calm down a bit. You know, tomorrow? Hmm. Neighbours. Will you be there? Uh, of course I will. <laughs> hey, I know it's going to be tough, but we'll get through it. Even Valerie. Eventually. So what's up? Carl. What's he trying to do? Give you all the dodgy runs? He's sacked me. He can't. Well, he has. Well, not for long, he hasn't. Nicola. No, I'm not letting him walk I all over I don't want you. you getting involved. I'd rather show Carl I don't need his job. Yeah, because everything was going I so mean well. It. I'll sort it. Oh, thanks, thanks. Bob was kind, wasn't he? Mm. I mean, it's nice seeing people are worried that you're leaving. I'll get used to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it just makes you realise, doesn't it? It's a big change. It doesn't just affect us. What are you trying to say? That we... We don't need to rush into things, do we? Chances like this don't come up very often. And as you keep pointing out to me, I might not even get it. When do you find out? Next week. So we need to talk some sense into your dad. He's already made his feelings pretty clear. Then we need to try again. Come on, I hate seeing you two fall out. We haven't. So why has he moved next door, then? You know what he's like. I'd rather concentrate on getting this job. We can sort Dad out later. Oh, name my big gob. It's filled you in then. Jay. I'm sorry. 
No, don't be. I was the one that turned him down. Oh. Right, well, I'll take it right back then, you fool. Come on, you're good together. What's stopping you? I don't know. I never know where I stand with him. Well, that's pretty normal. I think that's what you might call a Y chromosome. Yeah, and I think it's more than that. But he's not had the easiest few months. Yeah, and I'm not saying never. But it'll be when I'm ready. Okay. Let's see where it lands, eh? Why, Sarah? Oh, she's upstairs sulking. The school can't guarantee her the attention she needs for the trip, so I've had to say she can't go. Well, we don't want to get in poorly. It must be hard for her, you know. So, what did you want to talk about? Uh, just to say thanks, really, for earlier. Oh, well, you already did. I know. I couldn't have done it without you. Okay. I told Alicia I couldn't get back with her. Oh, well, I did wonder. I didn't realise that it was an option anyway. It wasn't. Not really, but she wanted to. Well, maybe you should think about it. I couldn't stand lying to her. Especially if I have to go through it again. Yeah. I don't exactly feel great about it myself. Look, I can book it next time if you like. Book what? The hotel. Best chance of Cameron finding out then. Oh, right. Yeah, well, no, maybe we should just think about it nearer the time. Sure. And, hey, maybe we shouldn't talk about it here. You know, never know when little ears are listening. Last thing she needs is me and him splitting up. Right. Well, I, I better get on with the tea. Right. I don't like him. Nobody likes him. Then let's not do it. If this man dies and it comes out, we could have saved him. How does that make us look? Who cares how it looks? What will the team decide to do? Law and Order UK is at nine. Coronation Street is next. <laughs>